Hi everyone, it's Chris from Paysetters here, I hope you're all well. So for today's um, clip on gymnastics and travelling in gymnastics, we're going to be focusing on speed. Okay, now before we've looked at travelling with two parts of our body, so both of our feet, okay, touching the floor, so things like walking, okay, marching, uh, skipping, leaping, spinning. Okay, we've also looked at, um, so, so one part of our body touching the floor, so one foot, okay, so hopping. We've looked at four parts of our body touching the floor, so let's do um, be like a bear, okay, right side going forwards, the left side going forwards, or like a caterpillar, okay, those are different ways. And then last time, we looked at how high we could be, okay, or how low. So whether it's as tall like we're a giraffe, okay, or as low and we're a snake. Okay, and for today, it doesn't matter what you choose, okay, whichever one of those before you want to choose. It's all about speed. Okay, so try with those to go around, it's in your garden or in your house, to go around either as slowly as possible, or as quickly, maybe the quickly one outside, or as quickly or as fast as you can. Okay, but remember, try and, try and travel all those different speeds, trying out those different ways that we've been traveling so far. Okay, maybe someone in your house, if you ask them, imagine you're a car and you've got five gears. Okay, if someone in your house tells you to go speed number one, okay, that's really, really slowly. Okay, then it might increase it, so it might go two, and then three, and then four, and all the way to the fastest, that is five. Okay, then it might shut up random numbers, like two. Okay, so that's it. this is now about you now doing your, your travelling, but based on lots and lots of different speeds.